there's this, uh, the concept of the thumb stopper. So people are scrolling, 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 and you want their thumb to stop. Like, okay, this sounds interesting. And the thing is, uh, what we uh, realized uh, in all the tests is that when people see professional camera, like professional uh, picture with uh, blurry background uh, and, you know, anything professional, they just skip. Yeah, yeah. They, do, they don't believe it. Because they don't oh, trust it. Oh, this is, the, this is the ad. Even if it's just a post from somebody, you know, uh, they'll just skip. I've talked to people a lot about this. They all tested this hypothesis. Yeah. Uh, I personally tested it. Yeah. And it really, really, really is like that. Hello and welcome to yet another episode of The Change Officer, where we roam around the world and try to find the, the, the biggest change officers, the people who change themselves, and not only themselves, but their uh, surroundings. And of course, today we are in Serbia. Desi bre čoveče. Desi bre te. Here we are with Istok Pavlović. Uh, I can introduce him as a, a nuclear physicist. Oh my God. You know, because, you know, when, when someone says, oh, it's not complicated, it's not nuclear physics, so yeah. you studied uh, nuclear physics. It is, yeah. And then I can introduce you as a marketer, like a uh, uh, guy from marketing, and uh, I can introduce you as an influencer. You are, you, were, you are early adopter, per se, yeah. but uh, we were connected uh, over Twitter, early adoption in Serbia, yeah. 2010 or something, 10-ish, something like that, 2010-11. And, uh, but I would like to uh, uh, um, introduce you not as a Serbian Dan Bilzerian, not, not like, no, no, I'm not, Serbian I didn't Gary say, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is, ah. this is what I wanted to say. Serbian Gary V from the perspective of understanding the importance of media, yeah. understanding uh, uh, of the uh, importance of um, uh, entrepreneurship and, and, and sharing the values, sharing is caring, of course, and uh, uh, giving value through your uh, uh, presence on internet. I remember your blog about Facebook and how can you how you can be successful on Facebook I think from 2010 is it or 2011 or something like that on is, your yeah. istokpavlovic.com uh, yeah, uh, yeah. blog and therefore uh, having said all of that like uh, media entrepreneur and uh, sharing knowledge we come to education Right. So uh, the University of uh, uh, Istok Pavlovic <laughs> yeah uh, uh, Talking about, uh, these are the topics that we will touch uh, uh, today, and uh, I think uh, you have really, really a lot to share. You were here at the Affiliate, Affiliate World Conference That's right. in Dubai, and uh, you were amazed by it, I, I would say. Let's start somewhere. There. I yeah. was, yeah. yeah. After three minutes, Istuk is speaking. <laughs> Introduction. So for the, those of you that don't know, uh, Affiliate World is a conference of affiliate marketers, and affiliate marketers are, you know, they, they are, uh, they don't mess around. Like these guys uh, are all into sales uh, and yeah, conversions and stuff. So um, what I expected to see there is that they are still, uh, you know, talking the same old story about doing uh, Google or email marketing and uh, numbers, 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 Excel, yeah, Excel, yeah. Excel. But uh, what, what amazed me this year is that uh, a lot of them are talking about TikTok. And, uh, you know, when affiliate marketers are talking about TikTok, uh, something that, is happening. Yeah, that means uh, uh, like the money is over there, you know. Uh. It's not just about dancing kids anymore, because if those guys are, he are here in the business with TikTok, then it means it's a real deal. So, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, th this really amazed me. These guys were uh, telling stories about, uh, you know, how they use TikTok to actually generate sales, you know. So, uh, it's really because TikTok is perceived by many like, okay, you should get it for your business because it's good for your brand and stuff. But these guys actually convert people <laughs> straight into sales from TikTok. And I was amazed, really. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, those people are in digital marketing from the beginning, like Facebook, yeah, yeah. like uh, uh, Google ads and, and so on and so on. And now everybody is switching uh, 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 to TikTok. To, to creative, actually, to creativity. To create, to, that's, the, that's the, yeah. Yeah, that's and, the uh, and uh, there's a reason why, actually. So uh, what happened in the past two years 
is that uh, the price of paid advertising on Facebook, Instagram, and whatnot uh, skyrocketed. Like uh, it's now twice as expensive as yeah. two years ago. And on the other hand, the targeting became almost impossible because of the GDPR and restrictions of Facebook. Uh, or they will to, yeah. A, 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 yeah. It's going to get worse, yeah. So, uh, uh, you know, Facebook is going to like be like TV 20 years ago. You cannot target anything, just that's it because of the restrictions. So, uh, and uh, that means that the future is about uh, creatives and specifically videos uh, because videos, you know, are something that people just uh, see in the moment and they react uh, emotionally. Uh, and uh, so creativity and video production is going to be the future of digital marketing, not uh, uh, analytics or targeting or... There is AI and machine learning for that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, that. Like uh, uh, everything that can be done is going to be done by AI. So you're going to just put your ad and the AI is going to find the right people for the ad. Uh, your job uh, only will be to make this creative uh, as interesting as possible. And I don't think that AI is going to make creatives like, you know, for a long time in the future. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, just you need to know your audience, how to communicate with them, and AI will do the rest, you know, and, and, and you, you have... That's right. But, but I, I like the series of your stories that you shared from the conference. That's uh, right. You were amazed, but not surprised. You were amazed, but not surprised, because you are doing that for, for years now. Uh, uh, how, uh, sh shall we call it a native or organic uh, look-alike uh, uh, videos yeah. uh, are, are doing the job? You said, oh, this, co this company could spend millions on a, a Hollywood-style ad, yeah. TVC or what, and they did it o o over the phone. So, yeah, please. So th th these things happen all the time. Uh, I've seen it uh, like in the past three years, uh, every time is the same. So you get two, uh, two videos. One is shot on Hollywood style, like Aerie Alexa cameras, lighting, uh, yeah. you know, crazy expensive. The other one is shot uh, on iPhone, like POV style or something. And the thing is this uh, like raw, cheap video will always outsell this professional one by far. Like I'm talking about 10, 20 times more. And the reason is that, uh, uh, you know, there's this, uh, the concept of the thumb stopper. So people are scrolling, 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 and you want their thumb to stop. Like, okay, this sounds interesting. And the thing is, uh, what we uh, realized uh, in all the tests is that, uh, like, when people see professional camera, like professional uh, picture with uh, blurry background, uh, and you know anything professional they just skip yeah yeah they, do, they don't believe it because they don't oh, trust oh, it oh this is the, this is the ad even even if even it's not an ad even if it's just a post from somebody you know uh, they'll just skip and uh, i've seen uh, i've talked to people a lot about this they all tested this hypothesis yeah. uh, i personally tested it yeah. and it really 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 is like that yeah, uh, it was. It, it's like that, you know. When I talk to clients, is you know, like this is my personal stuff. This is my my phone. Don't yeah. li don't cheat me. Don't don't lie me on my phone because yeah. if you have a nice everything, as you said, makeup, Ari Alexa cameras, whatever, <clears throat> that's cheating. And if you think content, think in in the direction uh, 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 about storytelling. Tell a story and yeah. do not sell a product. So tell a story yeah. and the product will be there, you know, like, uh, like we, we'll explain it and you will be get right, interested, right, right. but uh, just telling stories. Uh, so it, it's not just about the camera. That's uh, what, what is just said. Uh, so like the, the camera style is just at first impression, like, okay, this sounds real. But uh, if you start selling, uh, you know, at yeah. the, from the first second, yeah. they'll, they'll also skip, even yeah. if it's just an iPhone. Yeah. Uh, I'm the, here for fun. Yeah, I'm here for fun. So like, people want to see like uh, raw, uh, raw video and storytelling that doesn't sell, except un up until the very end of the video, or even even uh, they don't sell anything at all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the time, the best funnel is the discovery funnel. What does that mean? So uh, your video actually has no call to action at the end, yeah. but uh, people get curious and they'll open your profile on TikTok, yeah. and they they're gonna see in your bio. Hey, I'm 
yeah. this and I do this with my website here and this discovery funnel yeah. works the best because yeah. uh, you're not you're not pushing people like at the end of the video you got to have a call to action yeah, you like know? a top shop yeah like like a no. t- 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 uh, TV sales you know like yeah, yeah. if you call now you will get this and that no you know like yeah. you have to be the, the, a thi- friend. the thing is yeah you, you you put out this teaser like and people go uh, uh, like do do their own research discovery about you and uh, this is like they're not feel pushed to buy they feel like uh, you know, uh, oh, I just discovered this thing. Wow, this is like, you know, uh, yeah. uh, gold mining. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember. I remember at uh, the conference, it was 2012 or 13, uh, we were together and we were we were speaking at that conference and you, uh, it was um, Novi Vinodolsky and uh-huh. you were talking about addiction to Facebook yeah, yeah, to yeah. scroll. It's like a gambling. This is what I yeah. remember from yeah. that. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is exactly what's happening now on TikTok. So uh, what you refer to now is a very famous experiment of uh, psychology. Like uh, they used the like MRI scan to see what happened inside people's brain uh, when they do gambling, uh, specifically gambling in, uh, in, for example, Las Vegas with these uh, slot machines and stuff. So you have this machine where you just click, 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 yeah. and you wait for, I don't know, three cherries or whatnot. <laughs> so, uh, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the thing is, uh, that every time the brain is like, okay, maybe now they will, you know, uh, yeah, align. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, maybe now, yeah. maybe now, maybe yeah. now, maybe now. And when something aligns, uh, the brain gets a dose of, uh, this hormone, uh, yeah. of uh, endorphin, no uh, endorphin. Yeah. yeah. A hormone of luck. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, uh, what happens that uh, people get addicted to uh, not just this hormone, but uh, the idea that it can come at any moment, you never know. And the same happens on social media, like uh, before it was on Facebook, now it's on TikTok. So you scroll, 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 and you're waiting you know, to, to get lucky, to, to win. Yeah. And what is a win? Your video needs to be that win. So your video needs to be that uh, like, the winning moment, like yeah. uh, a, a lining of three cherries, you know? Yeah. yeah. And that's why pe- people stop uh, scrolling and they stop uh, start uh, looking, yeah. and watching video. And like and, 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 uh, and um, uh, engage with it and, and, yeah. and, and, so, and so on. So. so on TikTok specifically, uh, there are a lot of things that uh, uh, you cannot see in traditional uh, like Facebook or Instagram. For example, uh, there is something called uh, the, the rewatch hook. Mm-hmm. What is the rewatch hook? So the algorithm uh, will uh, push videos that get more rewatches, like uh, p- videos that people rewatch two, three, four, five times. Uh, and what people do now is uh, they will uh, use some very, very interesting uh, moment and they will leave it in the video for like half a second. Mm-hmm. For example, hey, here's how I earned a million dollars on uh, YouTube. Yeah. And I did this, I did that, and every of these shots is like a split second. So people are gonna be like, wait, wait, what, what, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me see again, let ah, me see yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Or and watch it to the end, or yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But rewatches, uh, uh, and count, people yeah. need to rewatch, rewatch, okay, uh, I, I, I missed this, I need to rewatch, rewatch, yeah. rewatch, and you get 10 rewatches, you know, and the algorithm uh, thinks, oh, this video uh, is interesting. It pushes it more to more and more people. So, I mean, one of the concepts that TikTok brought is this uh, concept of uh, low attention span, uh, rewatch baits, uh, uh, and many other things. You know. Yeah, uh, uh, and also the downfall of uh, the giant, uh, uh, the, the Facebook, uh, which happened uh, just recently. It uh, it went down twenty six percent of the wa- value in one day. Yeah. Uh, I I usually ask my clients, uh, my sorry clients, guests to the podcast. <laughs> you never know. Uh, 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 I ask uh, the guest to my podcast. Uh, uh, what is your take on on uh, Facebook downfall? I I know you were there from the beginning. Yeah. Two thousand. As soon as it was in Serbia, you I were mean, there. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm like the one of the most uh, active influencers on Facebook right now. Uh, most people passed to Instagram or some other yeah. network. Uh, I, I'm a rare guy who is still on Facebook, you know, <laughs> yeah. um, and I can tell you that, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, it's going down, but, uh, it's going to stay for some, uh, some specific tasks, like maybe, uh, groups on Facebook. Yeah. Groups. Are yeah. Big. yeah. They, 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 they are, they are very useful. Um, 
because uh, we're, we're going to talk about uh, online courses uh, yeah. later. And one of the uh, aspects uh, that people want to have with uh, any online course is membership in, in some kind of group. Mm -hmm. And the best way uh, still to make a group is on Facebook because, yeah, yeah you can tell, uh, okay, there's a group on Discord or Slack or I don't know, whatever. But the thing is, uh, people, they're used to Facebook and uh, a, a Facebook group is a great supplement of any community that you have outside Facebook mm -hmm. or any uh, e-learning platform. So, uh, I mean... I've been talking to a lot, a lot of people uh, all over the world and everyone who's into some kind of uh, e-learning and online courses, they all learn that uh, uh, Facebook group works the best as a supplement to your uh, course. Or, or, or a physical uh, group or, or, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's Facebook. But what I was thinking on is the, the bet, as you said, the TikTok took a bet for uh, low attention span videos, like 15 yeah. seconds yeah. and so whatnot. And Facebook was betting on long videos, like three, three plus minutes if you want yeah. to be monetized. And this was one of the mistakes that they, they made uh, uh, in, in the so, so what, what, what happens now is that uh, TikTok just announced like two days ago that they're going to be expanding uh, maximum video time to 10 minutes. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's now, taking over Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Now, now they want to take over uh, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and uh, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what's happening. Yeah. What's happening? But uh, 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 when Instagram introduced Reels, I thought that it's going to be the same as with Snapchat. So when Instagram introduced Stories, Snapchat just collapsed. But I think uh, with Reels, uh, Instagram will not uh, succeed to to take down TikTok. TikTok is too strong to fail now. Yeah, uh, yeah, but they are doing their best. I think that there, there are differences between Facebook and Instagram. Uh, but uh, you said you, you were amazed by the things uh, shared on the affiliate conference. And yeah. you are here in Dubai because of that conference. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, do you need a reason to come to Dubai anyhow? You know, like, <laughs> like, li li like you need a reason. I think I'm going to move here. You know? uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you say it. Say it in the camera, please. Uh, people, you should all think about moving to Dubai just... <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, come here for a month, see what happens, and... <laughs> Do you know, I have a lot of friends came here for two or three months, they're here 22 years now here. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, one of my friends said, oh, uh, when the last, if, if anything happens, but Dubai is reinventing itself uh, all the time, if anything happens to Dubai, and the last person who will shut the light, as we say, you know, like... Be, uh, be, uh, he will have to bring me too because I'm staying here, wh whatever, you know. Yeah. So, uh, you're welcome. Can you t t say it in Serbian also? Because I want to use this opportunity to share with the Serbian audience. Of course, of course. Yeah. Ljudi, znači, svi u Dubai, znači, kakva Nemačka <laughs> i te gluposti, znači, ono, samo Dubai, verujte mi, ovo je, ono, zemlja obećena. This is not a paid commercial. We will subtitle this uh, uh, in, in, in English. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so you came here for Affiliate uh, uh, World Conference, which is the biggest uh, affiliate uh, conference in the world. And uh, uh, I, I, I think that you can be on the stage of that conference with your knowledge and everything, but still... Yeah you were amazed and you said that you are learning there talking course, about yeah, learning of course how do you learn in 21st century um well one way is to go to conference still i mean but uh, uh, for example this kind of conference is uh, a place where people really give like uh, uh, straight advice they're gonna show you you know uh, what they did exactly specifically uh, even if they, they know they're, they're, there's like hundreds of people in the audience that, that can copy their idea right now, yeah. uh, they're not shy to share. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed by that, you know. Um, but you are doing that for ages. Yeah, For decades course. now, you are doing that. Of You're course, shelling, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I was never afraid that uh, people are going to steal my idea and uh, create a copy or not, what, what, what not. Because if you copy someone... You know, by the time by the time you copy, uh, they will be like ten miles away from you. So yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, so one way is a conference to learn. Uh, the other way uh, is uh, online courses. Uh, this is why I'm into this business right now of online courses because uh, I realized. I mean, I was a teacher at uh, two universities in Belgrade. You know about yeah. that, um, and uh, I realized that uh, you know, uh, like the the the. Uh, efficiency of learning this stuff uh, at university uh, compared to learning online is like 
certified university, you, you certified the model, certified this, certified that, and some kind of people who are not at living in this age have to certify that it is yeah. about whatever. So your your take on that is that uh, courses, yeah, of course, TED I mean, talks. That talks, you talks, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of the things people can learn on YouTube for free, but there are also uh, cor- courses that uh, you pay for uh, that uh, are even better. I mean, uh, it's just that you know, uh, when when uh, something is uh, commercial, uh, I mean, I know uh, people have more resources uh, to then create even more courses, even more value, so uh, yeah. And compared to uh, universities, it's really uh, uh, more efficient. So uh, the thing is, I mean, back in Belgrade, for example, uh, yeah, I studied nuclear physics. <laughs> and I remember that at the uh, electronics university, yeah. like, uh, or... Yeah, ETF, whatever. ETF, or what. <laughs> so I, I remember that uh, I had to uh, go uh, uh, to, like, these lectures every, every day, you yeah. know, like uh, losing about half an hour one way and uh, ha- one and a half hour, uh, you know, back home, and uh, it's it's so inefficient. You are uh, listening to the professor. Uh, you're not understanding like ten percent of it. Uh, when you watch something uh, on your laptop, you know. You have time to concentrate. If you miss something, you will replay these yeah. 15 seconds before and whatnot. So it's much, much more efficient to learn uh, from uh, from the comfort of your home. And uh, so some people would say, yeah, yeah, but uh, you know, when you're over there, you can ask something and whatnot. The thing is, uh, you know, for for the five years at the university, I, I never asked the professor anything, <laughs> nor I remember that anyone did that, that yeah. ever, you know. Maybe yeah. somebody sometime, but anyway, uh, these questions are useless. Uh, but uh, what happens online is that uh, the best model for learning is that you have these uh, pre-recorded courses yeah. and you have the Facebook group. So uh, in Facebook group, people can ask questions. Okay, I learned this. I applied it to my business. What do you think? And whatnot. So uh, I think this is the best model and far, far more efficient than university. Yeah, a few years back, you wanted to share some of your experience uh, uh, with the audience in Serbia and uh, started a, a course with Ivan uh, Bildi. Right. And uh, that was successful, like a few thousand people applied and, and so on. And, yeah. and, and uh, this happened like two, three years ago. And now you started the platform yeah. for uh, online learning. But right. on demand online learning, not something following curriculum or whatever, you just can... Uh, create the course uh, out of it and and, and right. uh, uh, but for now you're focused on serbian language uh, yeah but was it uh, a good thing because the, the, the it's a niche it is a niche uh the thing is uh, i mean you can do uh, just a small country like actually it's serbia bosnia Croatia. they yeah. all understand yeah. we have students from like all all former yugoslavia but still it's just yeah. one 10 million people maybe yeah, yeah. 10, 15 La- like yeah one larger country uh, but uh, you, you can do that when it's just a, a general topic like you know everything about marketing and I was already uh, super famous over there uh, I mean I just put out a, a Facebook post like hey guys we have a course jump in and we got a thousand people overnight without any ads <laughs> you know so yeah. uh, you can do talking that. about influence yeah, yeah. but it, it's just accumulated uh, influence from from like 10 years before when I was writing a blog and, you know, in free time and everything. Um, But right now, yeah, I'm uh, I'm going uh, globally uh, and uh, my focus is going to be on, uh, you know, this thing we're talking about, uh, creativity, like uh, how to make uh, videos that uh, create attention, uh, that uh, lead people to the sale and uh, all other things that I think companies are struggling with this right now. Um, and it's going to be a, a shift of everything, like par- paradigm shift of uh, uh, what is actually a, a, a good video, what is, what is actually a, a good photo, a good campaign, uh, what is professional, you know? Yeah. Uh, because this uh, this phrase professional, it really, uh, I, I get yeah. a, a cringy feeling when cringy. I hear it, you know? <laughs> like whenever I see, I hear, I hear a client saying, 
oh, this is not professional enough. Oh no, I don't want to listen about it. I, 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 I was working with uh, one big, big, big company in uh, Singapore and then uh, one big, big, big company in uh, one small country. I don't, I won't like to name, yeah. you know? And then I was giving that, as you said, impression of non-professional, but like organic look alike, whatever. And yeah. this big company from Singapore was like, wow, this is good, you know? And then this company from this uh, small country was, oh, it's not professional, you know? Like, so it, right. it takes, but, but okay. So basically another announcement in this, uh, besides uh, that, that you're moving to Dubai, yeah. uh, is that you, uh, you are starting the courses in English yeah. and, and, yeah. And, and, and your platform. Let me, uh, I think, uh, of course, you know, uh, your friend by platform because he's a Facebook uh, fan, Nas Daily. Yeah. Yeah. He's, do you know that he started because of Casey Neistat and everything? The, the, oh, I don't know. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyhow, he, Nas Daily uh, uh, is a guy who started, I'm just talking to the audience, but uh, you know this. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Nas Daily is the guy who started uh, uh, Facebook uh, one minute videos and he wanted to do a thousand videos for a thousand days. He was inspired by Casey Neistat, uh, uh, a famous daily vlogger, the, 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 the guy who reinvented uh, daily vlogging and so on. And uh, uh, after those thousand days uh, roaming around the world, he's, uh, he gained, I don't know, 10, 15 million uh, followers. He was really, really global influencer. He wanted to settle down in the best town that he thought it would be uh, for his business. He settled in Singapore and started a business there. And he said, I will do courses for content creation, you know, yeah. but in-person courses. Oh, and then one on one, yeah, yeah, one on one, not one on one, like group, groups, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then uh, a pandemic starts, yeah, and uh, uh, he was forced because uh, the lockdown in Singapore yeah. was very heavy, you know, like like it was it was a circle breaker as they call it, you know. I was there for one hundred days, so I was following this as it, as it was happening. Uh, so Nas Daily uh, started said, okay, we enrolled some people. There were some people like on the course, like he wanted to. And then he had to cross online. Then he, when he said, okay, he's very well connected with the uh, Singapore government, uh, Facebook, his Facebook's uh, like uh, favorite child, you know, like whatnot. And uh, besides someone else. And, and uh, uh, he started online courses. Yeah. In 18 months, he had 200,000 people signed up. Signed up from 150 countries. Yeah. That, that's the power of scaling, you know? And one, one thing at the end, just a detail at the end, uh, because he was thinking about moving either Singapore or Dubai, and he is living between Singapore and, uh, du uh, and Dubai, you know, he started uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the, the, the company here, and now he is spending more time here than in Singapore. So yeah, okay. he is in Dubai, you are okay. in Dubai. <laughs> I see this, you know, like, yeah. so, 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 so. I, I must meet him, definitely. Do, no, 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 definitely. He, he uh, uh, you know, like, uh, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's a global business. And yeah. when, when, when this whole pandemic started, I was like, because I'm a father of two, my, my kids are uh, 11 and uh, 13. And I was like, whoever solves the problem of online education will be the God. Yeah. And it happened, but not the way I thought, like I will restructure the school or whatever, the like curriculum. Yeah. Whatever. No, it happened with courses. Yeah. And, and we got help from the virus, you know? Really? I mean, <laughs> you're profiting from that that's all <laughs> <laughs> no it brought it brought uh, many um, uh, so many yeah. bad things it's better that it bad, never yeah. happened many yeah, bad things, but if there's one good thing with with the, the pandemic and everything that's like uh, the people finally realized you can actually learn online uh, uh, you know, like your friend, your very good friend, uh, Satya Nadella, mm -hmm. uh, the CEO of Microsoft, yeah. <laughs> said it. In two months of pandemics, we uh, got two years of digital transformation improvement. Yeah. So at, 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 at the one point, everybody worked online, like like and and so on. So so, so the courses of the future. Ab about this uh, transferring from live courses to online yeah. courses. For example, I'll give you an example. Do you know in Serbia, Slavica Squire, NLP trainer? 
Uh, yeah, I heard it, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she, she is one of the world's best known NLP trainers. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, and for years, I've been telling her, hey, you know, you should do this online. You should do this online. You should do this online. And she was like, yeah, you know, but uh, that's not it. Uh, I need people here physically. It's not the same. And uh, you know the story. Yeah. So when the pandemic happened, she was like, okay, now I have no choice. You know, I mean, let's try yeah. online. Yeah, that, uh, yo, yeah. She was forced. She she was skeptical at first, but the thing is, right now she's doing all of her courses online, and people uh, uh, people are really uh, amazed with how it works. I mean, uh, actually, uh, people are usually saying that uh, it's more efficient than being uh, in in the room. Why? Because uh, uh, she uh, found a way to uh, you know work with people in groups in separate rooms on Zoom. To give them uh, lessons and you can see what all other people are doing and you can be in the Facebook group, see other people's questions. And when you are in the room with people, you uh, a lot of things just... Uh, distract you. Yeah, distract you. Um, you. You look at your phone and you forgot what she told. And yeah, there are many things that are, I mean, disadvantages of working live. So this combination of online lessons with Facebook uh, group, with some uh, live uh, Zoom lessons, I think it's the future of education, actually. And um, everyone who is now watching this uh, anywhere in the world, uh, who is an educator or has some skills, uh, my message to those people is that now is the time to put this thing online. Uh, I can announce that uh, I'm preparing another course, which is how to create online course. Because, I've, <laughs> yeah. Le because artful of, art. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I've, I've created a lot of them and uh, uh, specifically with uh, the Motorich brothers. Uh, yeah, photography. Are, yeah, they're the most famous uh, stock photographers in the world. And uh, working with them, I realized, you know, how you actually create an online course uh, from something that is not just digital, something that you do with your hands. Uh, and uh, so uh, uh, there are so much skills in this world that uh, right now in the next five years are going to be put online. And uh, those who do this thing the best will win. And when I say the best, I mean, it's not just about, okay, I'm gonna, uh, for example, now create a yoga course. Yeah. So, okay, I'll put one camera here and I'll talk to the camera for one hour. It's not a course. It's, yeah. it, nobody wants to look at your head for one hour. It's got to be dynamic. Um, my uh, recommendation for people is to take the course uh, of Casey Neistat, filmmaking and storytelling, because this is how actually courses should be, like camera all over, uh, recording every single detail of the, of the process, of the thinking and everything. Yeah. That's how he is doing things. Uh, that's what we did with uh, the Modric Brothers course. Yeah. So camera all over, every single detail, you know. It's like really being over there uh, uh, with them and uh, much, much better than, than being live with them. No, there, there are a lot of advantages, but the, what is the disadvantage of having online meetings and, and so on is uh, everybody setting up meetings in a minute. So I finish my meeting at 12, Already at 12 starts a new meeting. There is no commute time even the, to change the office or yeah. whatnot. People forgot yeah. about that time a little bit, but it's pacing up. The things are pacing up. And I think what you, what you said uh, is uh, uh, going into the niche and understanding, of course, knowing what you, what you are saying, but understanding the, where the future lies of that uh, particular topic that you want to discuss in your course. Yeah. So my question to you is coming back to TikTok and everything that we discussed at the beginning, uh, 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 where is the future? Like, like I, I you know, uh, young, uh, young guy like you, you know, it's always hard to say you are a veteran in, in online business, whatever. Yeah, but uh, uh, so, but 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 still, you you see quite a few changes coming in and so on. Uh, uh, what do you think the future holds for digital world and 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 uh, for the platform world, whatever you know, social media and content creation? And courses, of course, I like on. Yeah, so uh, I think future, the, 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 there is this thing called the mega trend. And the uh, mega trend uh, is something, you know, that is like going to be for the next 10 years. And uh, one of the mega trends uh, that I've seen people talk about is uh, micro learning. 
So micro learning is one of the uh, things that's going to be the future. Uh, that means that uh, instead of having uh, you know five or six universities, you're going to have hundreds of people uh, doing some specific skill. And they're all going to have their own uh, course. So instead of learning from one like centralized source, people are going to learn from multiple uh, micro sources. I think that's the future of, uh, of learning. And as for digital, uh, you know, in general, uh, I think definitely like everyone uh, is now a media production company this is what you told me like uh, Gary we said media yeah. every company is a media company every company yeah. is a media company that's right this is something that uh, i'm telling to to people uh, who are asking me about advice like uh, you should involve yourself into filmmaking even if you are a dentist or i don't know what whatever your main profession is but you should also be a storyteller and filmmaker or if you like I have no time for that or whatnot, yeah. then uh, get someone to be your producer, but you got to be the star of that because if you are not uh, a star of your business, then I don't know, it could be done still, but uh, people want to see you in action, you know. As always, as always, CEO, managing director, owner, founder is the best salesperson because he's passionate or she's passionate about their business. Yeah. They know it the best. They know the, 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 their clients and, and so on and so on. Uh, uh, Istok uh, or East in Serbian Istok East. means Isaac. East uh, uh, or Isaac Isaac uh. yeah when, when I'm in Starbucks in USA I say uh, Isaac <laughs> that, that's, uh, uh, so uh, I think that we'll be seeing each other more and more here in Dubai of especially course, because yeah. You are in video production, we are in uh, cor corporate communication and, and stuff, you know. And uh, uh, thank you very much for coming to the Change Officer podcast. I think you are the perfect uh, guy to, to get this uh, title, the Change Officer. You know, like yeah. like uh, you're you're always there, there early adopter, uh, then uh, trying A B testing, good not good, and then uh, sharing with people, which is uh, giving value, yeah. no matter uh, if you're getting uh, from them something, you know, like uh, as I always say, give and you will be given. The uh, cosmos or uh, or a space is or giving galaxy. back. Yeah, is giving back. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Thanks, so man. nice having you here. Keep in touch. And one more thing, because I, I was, you know, so so uh, focused on our conversation and so on, uh, because I know that you are so quick on, uh, yeah, because I know that you are so quick uh, on social media. I just want you to uh, repeat again uh, in the in the in the camera. You can look and look there, and just say it uh, what you said in Serbian uh, during this conversation. You know uh, that you're moving uh, to Dubai. Yodi, sailing to Dubai. <laughs> Thank you very much for being here with me.